once we, we had the challenge of making the streetcar into ballet, we, we realized that in a, in a way what we had to do is look at it and say, how do you tell this story through dance? As opposed to trying to imitate uh, speech. It's a real treat not to have to use words. I really like that challenge. I find it really fascinating. The idea that you can tell the whole story without the words. How can we, without words, tell all these elements? And some elements were impossible, so we had to find new images. When you normally work with a choreographer, they come in with all the ideas, all the concept, and everything, and you kind of put the character with the steps all at once together. Whereas what we've been tending to do is that we will work with Nancy first, and then from that, once we know the characterization that we're trying to uh, obtain, we come in and we add steps to that. You're trying to say pretty big things without doing the dance steps. Normally, lots of effort into movement instead of just a look. We discovered that Tennessee Williams had different uh, titles for the piece. And at one time, he was going to call it the moth because he was interested in that image of a very delicate creature, Blanche, who's very attracted to bright light or desire, but who also knows and has a sense that it might kill her. We realized quite early on we wanted the story to take place in a very rough space because the main character, Blanche, is a very vulnerable person and she's trying to survive in a, a rough world. I think it's a really interesting idea that they've got with the set. I think the fact that it comes from this pile of rubble and out of that rubble comes the sort of spaces and the rooms and all the different furniture and the train and, and the train and everything. It comes from just boxes. I think that's really clever. And I think it's also really interesting that as a dance company, what you probably expect to see is the opulent tutus and all of that sort of thing. Whereas actually in this ballet, you're facing some pretty extreme situations. You know, you've got domestic violence in there and you've got a, a lot of quite big problems that we have in our society and they're facing them through dance. I think we've really, you know, opened, opened it up in order to make it into ballet. And uh, I think what we've been excited about is that the play lends itself to that. It's like the play is asking to be looked at in a new way and in a different way.